Uh, welcome back to another video today. I'll be showing you how to use artillery to find them You can go here to artillery, but some other vehicles also have the artillery menu so Now to I'm going to be using a Czechoslovakian one as it's my favorite So then you can just kind of set your spawn anywhere. I'm setting my spawn here as you will see later Why so to start off with you need to actually go into combat mode if you actually want to fire or You know traverse your gun so that's the first thing you need to do. Over here you see that X can fire your gun. So this also kind of works on battleships, just you don't have the as complex methods of like increasing and decreasing range, which will come in handy later. So the increase and decreasing range pretty much is just the amount of powder. So if you see at the minimum range, um, it goes down the 4.4 slash 1S. And then, yeah, here you go. So that will come in much like that will come in handy later so first off you have the manual mode which just allows you to do it whatever but that's not what we're doing today today i'll show you how to set distances so to do that you want it we will have auto on for this whole time so the first way i'm going to show you is direct fire to do that you can either set it manually so i'm going to set it to one here and you can see it won't traverse higher than that so the best way to do that is to go here and click on where you want to fire which is just the range you want to actually go that way so i would recommend clicking and holding so your tank traverses and angles towards your target and that becomes useful uh, wherever my tank is i wish but uh yeah so there you go as you see it is at 8.54 now but if i decrease the range here when i click it says nan end uh that means that you won't actually be able to hit it because the calculating computer broke and then there you go there's the minimum so that's how that works that that's very useful to know for the next version which is indirect so as you see there it's like that now so now if you go there um it won't go like that direct is better for like uh, shorter times but it's not it has a hard time going over terrain like this but if it's shorter range i would recommend direct uh, but if you're doing long range, uh, you would like, and you want to go over terrain, you could do high arc. But the one issue with high arc is that, as you see here, it says 81.61, which is, you can't fire like this. It's too high for the gun to fire. So, so what you want to do for that is decrease the range here, and then click on your target. Just remember that it actually has to be close enough that. Yeah, there you go. Now it says 63.57. So if you go back, that is an achievable angle. So that's how you can do that. Um, and you can see, you can actually fire like that. See to follow. And that's how you get a high arc fire. And as you see, this will have no issue going over the mountain. This is for more like top attack, you know, enclosed areas. Say there's like a valley and you can't, shoot over it that's what high arc is for uh it's quite commonly used in real life and like really hilly terrain kind of like a afghanistan for say like the mountains but um yeah that's how you do high arc if you were wondering as a lot of people don't actually know how to do that or even use the artillery this and for battleships this technique still works it's just you don't have the increase and decrease range you just have the thing here and then the auto for the elevation but as you see this is going to about the distance we wanted the nice thing about auto is that it's perfectly at it but you can't like decrease or increase the range manually like you can with direct fire and here you see it falling down onto the city now after at this huge art and should be hitting very soon that is my guide to artillery. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.